Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. My opponent starts off the game by shouting the word Imba, apparently, or at least I imagine him shouting. Not completely sure what's going on, we're just gonna act cool here and respond with a Jilly Jeff, you know, just so he knows, okay, you're not gonna get in my head, Mr. Terran. But anyways, um, we're gonna be going for some Roach Ravager player right now, and I think that would be a good choice. Um, as of late, I've been playing that strategy a lot. If you haven't checked out uh, the video that I made about this build order, make sure you check the first link down below in the description of this video. I will leave a link right there, but anyway. Um, it's one of the strongest build orders currently on the ladder, and ever since I've started doing it, my build order, or my Zerg vs. Terran win rate, rather, has started skyrocketing. I currently got about 70% win rate, and while I'm definitely not playing it perfect, I mean, Every single game of StarCraft is a matter of, you know, compiled mistakes, really. Um, and the uh, the programmers make less mistakes than we do, obviously. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's always mistakes. Even though we always make mistakes, um, the build order has been going better and better and better. And there's definitely still room for improvement, but we're doing quite well right now. So, the build order focuses on getting some early game units out, minimal amounts of early game units out, just to massive, or just to secure yourself a massive amount of... Um, units early on with the, with the drones, obviously, and establish that big economy. When does a Terran get something that forces someone to run away? Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for your taunt, I suppose, sir. I understand you're trying to trigger me. He's a little bit triggered. <laughs> uh, I guess he uh, he just played a Terran versus Protoss. A rough TVP, huh? There, we'll trigger him some more. Anyways, he's trying to uh, basically. <laughs> I guess he's been playing all night. It's currently. It's currently 7.30 in the evening as I'm recording this, and um, I guess people are a little bit, <laughs> a little bit frustrated here. Uh, probably, um, you know, came home after a long day at work, at least that's what I would like to imagine. He's like, ah, oh, let's sit down, play some good levels of StarCraft, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck. Disruptor in the middle of my army. But anyways, gotta pull two workers out of the gas geyser. Usually the reason why you do that is to actually establish yourself with a quick third base. <laughs> He really needs to let himself go, guys. He just needed to, you know, a listening ear. Oh, that sounds, that sounds awful. I'm being the girlfriend in this, or like the boyfriend in this scenario, and he's the girlfriend, obviously. Um, where he just needs, you know, he just needs to talk, and I just, like, he doesn't want a solution or anything, because he knows, he knows fully well that it's not imbalanced. He knows very well that it's not imbalanced, he just wants to talk about it, you know? You shouldn't be looking for solutions always. They don't like that. They just want to talk about how shit is imbalanced and stuff. Oh well, don't obviously want to lose anything to this Reaper if we can at all avoid it. Did hit the Queen and Jax. <clears throat> a little bit of a later Overlord, but that means I can go for a faster third, so it doesn't really matter all too much. Don't know if he's actually gonna follow this up with uh, more and more um, Reapers, or if he's just gonna sit on one for now. He could be going for a second one as well. Alright, gonna make a lot of workers here. We'll make a second set of Zerklings too, just in case. And start moving towards the third base. Okay, mostly just want to get the third up. I hope you will allow me to. That would be nice. Have to be quick. There we go. Great. That's actually very nice for me. That buys me a lot of extra time. We'll put down the Roach Warren at the same time too. And then go for another Gas Geyser. Very shortly. I'm making a couple of Zerklings here. Also trying to figure out whether or not he took a third Command Center. Um, or even if he took a Natural. I'm going to assume he took a Natural here. Only makes sense. That's actually a starport. Interesting. Very quick Hellion play. That's fine by me. Go ahead and get a second Gas Geyser. And as soon as the um, as soon as the Roach Warren finishes, I'll be making a couple of defensive Roaches as well, just to deal with the potential, you know, aggression of the Terran player. This ramp is always okay if you have to creep tumors above the ramp like that. Usually an okay place. Okay. It's buying time. Don't need to lose any of those units. It's buying time for my roaches to come out. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Didn't expect he would run in here, knowing that I already had army out. Alright, that's costing him a lot more than it's costing me, so this is fine for me. Gonna start droning up that third base. And we'll also start up a second gas in the third, or in the natural ourselves. So I'm being a little bit slower on the gas geysers than you would ideally want to be. As you can see, I will start flooding a couple of minerals here and there. Put down the lair, as well as the double evolution chamber at this point. As well as another gas 
in that main base, but I do want to get that full saturation at the third, so let's see what is going on here. More and more barracks. Is there a tech lab? No, no tech lab, so he's probably just making like a single liberator. Something like that, just in case we'll put down a spore crawler over in the natural, because that's the most likely location he will go for. And we'll put on some damage here with the roaches that we made, because, you know, we got them anyway, so I may as well go ahead and do a little bit with them. Oh, well, that's some siege tanks. Shouldn't be risking it too much. Keep making more and more income. Establishing that massive economy. And we'll actually just leave a Zerkling behind. Also a Zerkling right here so we can spot when he's moving. And we'll just keep on moving. Um, into more and more drones here ourselves. Need have one more worker right there. Need one more worker right here. We'll start knocking down the rocks to the third base as well. But I am maxed out currently. I'll send out an Overseer across his base as well. We'll make an Overseer at home, just in case. And it looks like, indeed, my opponent has gone for a Liberator. So that is actually a pretty good position for me. He's just trying to be annoying, not really trying to kill me or anything. This rewards good players, usually. Takes two hits. This is fine. And he's just trying to be annoying. Are we gonna get him? Oh! <laughs> one for one. I guess we'll take it. Alright. Now, plus one, plus one, and Roach Speed will finish up shortly. I'm gonna start a fort base up. And we just need to do a lot of damage now. This map is actually pretty annoying for us. Because uh, on this particular map, this siege or this this position that he has is very difficult to kill. Very difficult to kill. On pretty much every other map, you can just straight up win with this build order, just because he doesn't have any kind of way of defending it. But since he has this nice like siege stop location here, where he can just sort of put his siege tanks behind, um, he can oftentimes do a lot of damage. So just keeping an eye out on his army, he seemed to have about three siege tanks, which is not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I'll research plus two attack here as well and just keep reinforcing with more and more stuff. If he decides to try and clean up this overlord, we may actually be able to catch him off guard. Okay. Reinforcing with more Zerklings as well. Plus one attack is done. Fort base is going up right now as well. And we can start moving in. Just need to make sure I nuke down the siege tanks with my corrosive bile to the best of my ability. This is good! This is looking great! He's not microing extremely well, which means that the siege tanks are falling rapidly. He could be microing against those with the drops. Like, he could use the, uh, the med effects to try and pick up the units. That's the really correct way of holding it, and actually extremely viable on this map as well. We use reinforcing roaches to deal with the drops that he's trying to do damage with to me. And in the meantime, we're raining chaos in the main base of him. Okay. Very good. Go the same for the third. And I think this is going to be game right here. We've defended everything successfully. Dealing okay with the drops that are going on as well. They're not really taking very much. And my opponent was having a bad day. And he's having a worse one right now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this game. If you haven't already, hit the like button below the video. If you want to see more StarCraft 2 though, make sure you also hit that subscribe button so you get a notification when I upload more. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.